having a problem, so I had to put some parts on and now I gotta recalibrate it. Okay, that's called recalibrating. Yeah. So that holds five gallons and when he gets ready to calibrate it, that's called a pr prover. It proves out whether it's got five gallons in it or not. That way you know you're getting exactly a gallon when you pay for a gallon. They call it a seraphim can. A seraphim can. Wow, you learn something every day. Hey, look, as expensive as gas is, we got to have these people like this to calibrate these machines and to make sure that these people ain't, ain't taking, you know, uh, 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 giving us a, a piece of a gallon and charging us for it. But he said it's state law in Missouri, so when he, when they, certain times they do an audit and they pop in and this one had a problem, so it was kicking something back and uh, it just wouldn't pump. It just wouldn't pump. Yeah, when, when the component, the electronic components don't work, it won't pump. So I got to come out here and put parts on it and make it pump again. Make it pump again and then you get do the calibration. You calibrate it because it's well, brand new. They got no memory. What about these other ones? When, how often do they calibrate them? They come by once a month. Once a month? Yep. Ah, that, and they get them over there too. One, oh, ah, yeah, the I, state will come by and they'll check every pump, make sure it's putting out what it says it's supposed to put out. And if it's not, then a guy like me gets called and I come out here and make it right. I've been wondering about that. That's one of them things that you always wonder until you get to see the technician that's actually performing the test. That is so cool. But I, it, you know, I was hoping Mississippi had one of these things. I started to make a video about it in Mississippi. But, you know, I don't know if Mississippi does it or not. All right, he's going to run his test. So you stop it exactly five gallons? I stop it on here five gallons. And then I'll, I'll shut the electronic door down here, hang it up, and then the pump will read for five gallons to lock it into the memory of the IGM board and it works. Oh, it's electronic. Okay. It all runs electronic. So you got the glass tube on the other side? Yeah. So that's what he's watching, people. He's watching the glass tube. And he'll get it exactly at five gallons in that prover right there. That's proving it. And then he makes the calibrations in the electronics on the machine. And it don't take long, does it? Nope. Bam. Now he's got five gallons of gas he got to do something with. I didn't ask. Oh, he's going to empty it into the... He's going to pour it out on the ground. No, he ain't. He's going to put it in there. Uh, yeah, this ain't his first time to do that. Wow. Interesting to know that. Every year, more than 93,000 fuel pumps are inspected throughout Tennessee to make sure the drivers get what they pay for at the pump. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen shows us how it's done. When most people pull up to a gas tank to fill their tank, they just take for granted that what they are paying for is what they're getting. There are a lot of steps actually put in place to make sure that is actually true. At least once a year, an inspector from the Department of Weights and Measures will show up unannounced at a gas station and get to work. Anything that's sold by measure, we check. If there's any water, it shows up. David Harden is one of 23 inspectors in Tennessee. He checks scales at grocery stores, makes sure prices match, and he checks fuel pumps inside and out. We also check for his hoses to make sure the hoses are in good shape. They had no bubbles in them. But what drivers really care about is getting what they pay for. It's equity in the marketplace is really what it's all about. According to the Department of Agriculture, it's actually more common for a gas station to give you more gas than what you pay for, rather than the other way around. And most gas pumps, like the ones at the Kroger in Goodlettsville, pass inspection year in and year out no problem. And Hardin says that it's extremely rare to find a gas station that's trying to cheat the system. If you get caught cheating, it's pretty much the end of your business. Still, the department gets calls from drivers saying they think they've been cheated at the pump or that there is a problem at the gas station. When that happens, they respond to the station, usually on the same day of the complaint, to make sure everything is operating as it should. Put the approval sticker on. In Goodlettsville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.
The most common discrepancy at the gas pump is in the labeling of the machine. According to the Department of Agriculture, sometimes the sun can fade the warnings and instructions so they're hard to read.